Hey guys, it's Rolf on the Lagoon 400 Rochambeau in beautiful Marina del Rey. So what am I up to today? I am actually finishing up a project where I'm building a framework for solar panels. So I looked at uh, the design of our dear friend from Muskoka, who has a beautiful setup also on his boat. Muskoka's uh, YouTube channel is off the starboard hole, by the way. Exactly. And uh, so I looked at his design and pretty much copied a lot of things out of it. The only thing that I did is I actually used aluminum instead of stainless steel. Uh, the reason for that is why it's, in my opinion, because I used to build a lot of motorcycles, is it's very light, it is strong, and it's also very easy to modify, drill holes in, etc. as well. So, um, yeah, if we zoom up up here, you can actually see and I'm sure that Muskoka will recognize the design that uh, we're actually using still the top plate of the Bimini support right here. And I created these support pieces, as you see them right here, like a one inch spacer so that this particular support bar on which the solar panels will be mounted is actually nice and away from the Bimini so to not do any da damage and whatnot. So I think it came out pretty good. So what am I still doing and we can like kind of slowly turn around is now I'm actually building a support beam which I will mount on the davits. And as you will see here, this is the uh, traditional davit design on the uh, Lagoon 400s at least, and I think also on the larger Lagoons as well, is I drilled out the holes. Traditionally, you had this particular bolt going through, and this would come out. This is the little roller that technically supports the line over here. It so happens to be that you can pop this one out. So the larger bolt that I'm actually using here, which is a 3 8 uh, diameter, cleanly fits right through here. It will go right in here and the bolt will simply go through there. So this still stays fully functional and technically could be returned to its original design. So I really like that particular idea. So that is the, uh, the current status of the project. So we'll keep you posted on the rest. So what are we looking at here? Uh, what I explained to you before was that I was going to mount a big piece of frame on top of the existing davits. And um, here it is. I'm using actually uh, two by two inch aluminum um, uh, pipes to, to build up this particular system. Um, just making sure that everything is of course is nicely level. And I'm preparing to now actually cut the, uh, the davit mounted uh, support right here just to make sure of course that everything is nice and straight and here we go and so cut I mounted back on there and it's pretty much the first piece that I was finishing up and I copied it also for the other side as well and what you're looking at now is I just uh, actually finished up measuring the top support on the other side um, on which actually the, the solar panels are going to be now resting on the back side of the boat. Just making sure that everything is centered, making sure that the holes are going to be in the, in the right location and transferring of course that data onto that top support that you see me mounting here right now. So tell me, it looks like you've come further and talk to me about the process, the frustrations, what worked, what hasn't worked, any recommendations, thoughts on where you're going next. Lots of frustrations, lots of hole drilling, lots of alignment issues, because also again, you know, I'm not in a machine shop, so I'm just working with, you know, the tools that I have on the boat here, such as, you know, tape measures and, and such. You know, so it's very easy to be off, you know, a couple of eighths here and there, 
and then finally putting it all together that that is a little bit frustrating so either way it all worked out as you see right here um, so I now built or attached the actual support beam on top of the davits using those pieces of frame right there um, to stabilize them I temporarily actually taped just a few you know frame pieces to the davit so that it wouldn't fall over it while I was working on it and of course to keep it also completely level um, after that I made a couple of pre drilled holes which were already in the solar panels as you can see them right here to just made them a little bit bigger so I can actually have the bolt go through measured out the distance between the two pieces of frame centered it obviously mounted the solar panel on top so I set up the solar panels in a way so that they don't of course interfere with the traveler and the main sheet so that's of course the most important thing or else you know it's gonna wear out wear and tear not gonna be good um, but yeah I'm happy about the uh, the first results so the next steps are going to be mounting the other solar panels so we'll see how that goes So, super excited. The holes are actually lining up for the first panel. I'm very, uh, very, very proud of my uh, work so far. But then comes the challenging part, of course, mounting the other panels and making those holes also line up. So far, so good. So, up to the third one, no problems. The fourth one's still fine as well. But, what I'm actually, uh, what I was actually looking at here, well, here's like the quick example again of, of the roller piece underneath the, the davit supported uh, mount. Um, just making sure that everything is level. But what I had to do is actually extend the uh, support beams at the end a little bit. Why? Because it was only 16 feet long. That was the maximum that the metal wholesale actually had to offer. And I needed an additional three inches. So I actually had to extend it a little bit. So a little fast forward video here. What am I doing? Um, as you see, I have a, an old cutting board that I put underneath uh, the frame, actually, of the solar panel to prevent myself from potentially drilling into the actual panel. Because once you do that, water will come in, the panel is technically ruined. So I'm just uh, making sure that I don't damage it in my excitement. lining up for the last couple of holes of the entire project um, so far the mounting of the, uh, the solar panels has been fairly painless but you know how it goes it's always the last the last step the last chapter of the entire story that's always the most challenging last hole such excitement the great thing was that I was able to use some of the pre-drilled holes that were already in the panel so that was uh, it was quite nice actually that that worked out a lot of people were worried about that these panels are really heavy and you know, I didn't really have that much of an issue with it it also helped that I'm six feet too tall so I was able to uh, do a lot of the, uh, the work without any additional steps and whatnot so that speeded up uh, the process. Well, it slides nicely into place. Just making sure that the holes align, of course. And that was the last hole. But, as always the case, that very last bolt is always the most challenging. And as I mentioned uh, a little bit early in the video, it's, it's, it's always challenging to, um, to align the holes in the end because uh, you're always a little bit off. It's all handmade. Uh, it's not in a machine shop where you can have like micro precision. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video as did my cat. It's very tiresome. So have yourself a great day.